Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you four really simple low carb meals that are healthy. I am trying to eat healthier, trying to make my whole family eat healthier. Um, it's the new year, yes, yes, it's the new year, but we also just need to be making these choices anyway. So I hope that y'all enjoy all these were meals that I got um, with the stuff from Aldi. So cheap, um, try to make it as cheap as possible, try to make it really easy. All the in ingredients instructions will be in the description box too. You can substitute anything you want. You can also get the stuff at Walmart for cheap if you don't have an Aldi. If you have ever been interested in starting a YouTube channel on your own, you need to click the link in the description box, get on my wait list. I'm going to be having a YouTube course, short 30 day course for you to take to learn how I have been able to replace my teaching income with a YouTube channel. And I'd love to be able to share with you how you can do that too. So click the link and get on my wait list so that you can be the first to know whenever my course opens. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so I wanted to share with y'all, if you do Weight Watchers or you're curious, it's super easy, but all you have to do is create your own recipe, and you can just scan in ingredients, um, give it a name, and add up all of the ingredients in the app, and then at the very end of the um, recipe when you're saving it, it'll tell you how many points each serving is. So like these enchiladas I'm gonna make, there's eight enchiladas, and the only points in this recipe are from the sour cream, which I got the light sour cream, and the tortillas, which are low carb. And so each enchilada is only three points, which is super low. Um, but if you add um, cheese on top, that's other points. I did not put that in the recipe because that's just for the on top part. Side note, if you do Weight Watchers, do the make your own recipe, it's really good. And you can also search recipes in there, which is cool. I didn't know that. All right, we're gonna take a light sour cream and we're gonna dump this in here. Okay, I did two of these. Two things of canned chicken. All right, now we're gonna stir it all together. And I'm just gonna take these. Trey, are you checking on them? All right, you're gonna fill it. And you're gonna roll it. And stick it, just like that. All right, now we're just gonna top it with cheese. I want to do this one. If you put all of this cheese on top, it gets to be a lot of points, so. I want to do that one. Just beware. That one, okay, I want to. You can help me spread it out. Uh, yeah, spread it out flat. My, I can do it, but there's a right here. You put it on this side, so I can do it. Spread, 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 spread. Good 
job, Vera. And now we're gonna let that cook in the oven at 350 and we're just gonna watch it probably like 10 to 20 minutes. I don't want the tortillas to burn. You can obviously put enchilada sauce around it to make it like more liquidy or chicken broth. My favorite part Whatever you want. Okay, yum. Looks so, so good. Okay, complex carbs. This is what this has. So it's organic brown rice and quinoa for the pasta instead of instead of like enriched flour, I guess. Is that I don't know. It says organic brown rice, organic quinoa. So we're gonna do this. I got two things of ground beef, and then these are my favorite pasta sauces. They're like 88 cents a piece. I'm gonna link this down below too. This is one of my new favorites. Zydeco chop, all natural, no salt, gluten free. It's got all just like real things. Tastes amazing. Do you know where the baby's at? All right, here's our noodles. I'm keeping it separate so I can um, decide how much you know of the pasta and sauce I get. And then here. So this is my hamburger bowl. 
Um, you can choose to cook the red onion with the meat if you want, but I like the crunch. Um, I'm gonna add in lettuce or spinach and probably some jalapeno and then mustard because mustard is zero calories. And then that's my hamburger bowl. I am serving this to my kids. They will eat all of this except the red onion so they can just pick that out and then we'll top it with cheese and they can eat it with french fries um, or chips. All right, the burgers are cooking. They are yummy. I like to eat them like cut up on a salad or cut up with some vegetables or you can put it on a bun but that's not really um, low carb. And we're gonna eat it with this black bean salad from Aldi. Um, it's really good, it's like corn and kidney beans and bell peppers on the side. And I'm gonna put it probably on some spinach with mustard. Um, I could have swore that I had some salmon patties in my freezer and I was gonna cook that too, but I can't find them. So we're gonna eat it with some vegetables too. Broccoli, carrots, um, just kind of a little hodgepodge, but it's uh, pretty yummy and they're vegetarian, so but just wanted to share with y'all that extra little um, meal. And also, check this out. I made my own rotisserie chicken. This was so easy in the Instant Pot, I just Googled it, so I bought a whole chicken for $5 and cooked it, so we have chicken too. So if y'all want to see that in a video, let me know and I'll get that made for y'all. All right, this is a salad. Tastes pretty good too. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Comment down below some more of your healthy meals that you like. A drink? Um, comment down below some of your healthy meals that you like to give me some more ideas and everyone else. Don't forget to join the waitlist for my YouTube course. It's gonna be so much fun. And you're gonna be able to learn about how I do this full time. So, I will see y'all next time in next week's video. Bye everybody.